Hey everybody, this is my buddy heater from Mr. Heater and it is an indoor safe portable heater. I shot a video about it recently debunking the idea that it is a catalytic heater. It is not a catalytic heater. Uh, it does have open flame combustion and it works in conjunction with that special heating tile to radiate a lot of infrared heat. And so it's a very, very effective heater but it's indoor safe and it is open combustion. So how is that? I thought it had something to do with the tile, but it does not. I've been asked a few questions by some people about heaters like this that are very similar and yet are not listed as indoor safe. And why is this infrared heater not considered to be indoor safe when it seems to function on basically the same way as this one does and again i always assumed it had something to do with this heating tile because mr heater makes a big deal out of that special heating tile and i will say it is a very very effective way to radiate heat out in front of it as opposed to this one this one takes much much longer to warm up and start glowing orange you can tell the orange glow is not nearly as bright and vibrant as this so i still recommend these these are absolutely fantastic heaters and they do have some good safety features on them so again what is the difference between the two and why is one indoor safe and the other one isn't now we'll get to the safety features in a few minutes but before that we need to talk about how the process of combustion works because that's where the magic is actually happening i thought as i said that there was something going on in that heating tile but what's really going on is the fact that propane or lp gas when there is an adequate supply of oxygen and it's burning it burns completely and if it achieves full combustion there is no carbon monoxide produced it's only carbon dioxide heat and water vapor the only time you get carbon monoxide being produced is if there's not sufficient oxygen to allow for full combustion of the gas so in theory the little golf cart heater that i got that's non-branded uh, is just as safe indoors as the buddy heater and all of those propane combustion heaters are perfectly safe indoors. I don't know about the combustion process in a wood fire or a candle or say lamp oil or something like that, but propane, uh, butane, LP gas, uh, any of those, as long as there is an adequate supply of oxygen and you get full combustion, then you're not producing any carbon monoxide. You're only producing carbon dioxide. The only time you run into trouble is when you get into a supply of low oxygen. And that's where some of these safety features come into play. So while we are letting the one on the right warm back up, as I said before, it takes a little while for that one to really get up to that nice bright orange glow. And that's where you really get the good results from these types of heaters is you want to get that orange glow for that radiant heat and the buddy heater there on the left, which again, I highly recommend, I will put a link down below to it, heats up really, really quickly and puts out a ton of heat. But it's also got safety features that the one on the right does not have. And the first safety feature it's got is a low oxygen sensor. Now I thought originally this was to monitor the, uh, and I guess in a way it sort of is, to, to monitor the amount of ventilation you've got in the room. If there's not enough oxygen supply, that indicates a low amount of air circulation or whatever. That's not exactly how it works or what's going on, but it does monitor the oxygen. And if it gets to a point where there's not enough oxygen for full combustion, it will shut itself off. And therefore this unit, this Mr. Heater there, that buddy heater is never going to produce carbon monoxide. And I've seen tests done where people set up monitors and they never produce any. And I'm not talking about the alarm type, but actual monitors and no carbon monoxide is produced. The other safety feature we have with this one which is pretty important for indoor use is the fact that if you knock it over it shuts itself off immediately now i'm assuming if this got knocked over onto some carpet or something that's still hot enough that it might you know melt some plastic or something but the fire itself including the pilot light go out almost immediately when it's knocked over a little bit more than i'd say 45 degrees this one 
Not only does it not have any kind of oxygen sensor or anything, it doesn't have any kind of anything. You just light it and it's lit. And I will even go so far as to say on this one, it does have um, one of the little heat sensors. I can't think of thermocoupler, which is what allows it to stay lit. If it's um, the thermocoupler gets cold, it will stop putting gas out. So if it goes out, it won't continue uh, leaking gas. So it does have that safety feature on it. Uh, but this copper wire, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm probably standing in the light. If you can see this copper wire running from the, through the unit, that is the wire for the thermocoupler. And so if you reach down to grab the unit from the top, like this after it's been on for a while in fact that's already quite hot to the touch uh, you will leave yourself a nice little blister across the back of your hand this wire does get extremely hot in addition of course to this getting extremely hot but that's the only safety feature on here is the thermocoupler if the fire goes out the gas will stop this also has a thermocoupler on it so likewise if the gas goes out i mean if the fire goes out the gas will stop on the buddy heater as well but the real magic is the fact that as long as there's plenty of oxygen you don't get any carbon monoxide being produced from your fire so thanks for watching hope that cleared up some issues about these types of heaters and whether or not you want to put one of them in your house or not so make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get from me. And don't forget to check the links down below to either one of these products. And don't forget, as an Amazon affiliate, I do get a small percentage of any purchases made through qualifying links. So make sure you check those out. Thank you very much. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.